התיישבות, בוש, את כל השטח. This is interesting. Have we seen Itamar Ben Gavir standing in front of the podium, directly addressing the camera and articulating his genocidal vision for the future of Israel? Remember why this is happening. Remember that this all comes at the end of days for Netanyahu's government. Inside of Israel's body politique, Netanyahu's coalition is collapsing. On one side, you have rabid fascist ministers like Basil El Smotrich and Itamar Ben Gavir, who are calling for the full occupation of the Gaza Strip. And on the other side, you have Benny Gantz, who, after shitting his pants, delivered an ultimatum to Satan. The ultimatum was that Satan had two weeks to end the operation in Gaza and bring home the hostages, or Benny Gantz would shit his pants and then resign. And indeed, it looks as though Benny Gantz has indeed filled his pants and is expected to resign this Saturday. Not to mention the international community at large, including the US government, which Israel is becoming more and more completely isolated from with each passing day. The most recent addition to this is the UN adding Israel to a blacklist. Yes, a list of shame for its abuses against children. You're going on my list of shame. Oh no, please, not the list of shame. Yes, Israel is being added to a list of shame by the UN, which is again, a largely symbolic act but one I think which should be noted, obviously. In my estimation, Israel has cemented its position as a pariah state within the international community. The reactionary forces are being made to move, to budge, and it will take a generation before Israel becomes economically unlivable and ceases to be a state. Israel is going down the toilet. That much is certain. We should keep pushing. Sometimes history needs a push. There is a cultural shift happening around our thoughts about Israel. The next generation of decision makers are on those college campuses. Change is happening culturally and that will eventually bring about a substantial material change in the world. Remember that qualitative change always comes about through innumerable quantitative changes that are undetectable. The chosen people. The chosen people in their promised land. Not a cell phone in sight, just Zionists living in the moment. What a beautiful thing. This is the chosen people in their promised land. This is absolutely selfless, Christ-like behavior. I'm so glad that the Zionist project has co-opted the Jewish symbol of faith and publicly represents itself with this kind of activity. No malice, just selflessness, truly a God-loving people. Nixon ordered Cambodian genocide. Clinton sent cruise missiles to Sudan, people died. Obama gave the orders to do drone strikes. Reagan invaded Nicaragua in 85.